In my stay in Rwanda, I got a chance to experience some interesting activities and the major interesting one was experiencing their different food, including some of their most interesting drinks and different meals that they serve. In this video, I bring to you a compilation of different days in my stay in Rwanda as I bring to you their different meals. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and this is a daily vlog. Today is the I think five or six i am losing count of the days but i'm um, in this genocide i hope you have enjoyed yeah. the genocide yeah in the genocide <laughs> okay you'll miss words you'll okay. misuse words is that lady accusing me of saying that <laughs> <laughs> okay i am at the museum site okay oh, i am at the genocide. Kigali yes. genocide what is it called Kigali, Kigali Genocide Memorial. Kigali Genocide Memorial. Okay, I am here. We just finished shooting and saying a bad story. And yeah, Erina is crying. I don't know if it's coronavirus or what. <laughs> yeah, she's been infected with coronavirus. Our lady is traveling, but her light is, is not allowing her to be seen. So, sorry. Yeah, she has a cold. But we hope with time it's just going to so go. But it's not coronavirus. Yeah, then you're with Nexo here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we come to Rwanda. So I hope you enjoy the video. Yeah. Okay, the Genocide Memorial Center here. It's a sad story. It's very it's sad story. Like, oh, it's, at some point, I, I do want even to concentrate a lot at some point, lest wow. I find they myself crying. crying. Because, <laughs> like, a lot of people are coming <laughs> inside and say they, they, they cry. Oh. It was too Sorry, Irina. So yeah, it's very sad. It's very sad. Like I intentionally was blocking myself from concentrating. Yeah, yeah lest I'll just start crying. Thing. Yeah. So we thank God for peace. Like we thank God for peace. Yeah. 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 Because, like as Rwandans, we are trying to working together to build peace. We are yeah. one. Yeah. So right now we are one. No races, no race, you know, and so we are all one. Right. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, okay, well, being able to see where Rwanda is right now, considering they underwent that whole story, is like such a big achievement, right, Irina? Yeah. Like they have tried, have tried. So yeah. we have tried yeah. a lot to, to build our country after genocide. So we are trying our best mm -hmm. to do everything possible just to develop our country, to mean, just to remain in progress. In our country. So, with our presence, His Excellency Paul Kagame, so we are doing everything yeah. possible mm -hmm. to develop our country. We were having a conversation with our host, and we just concluded your president Kagame is a genius. Yeah, so genius. Yeah. Like a lot of people say, oh, this is my role model, this is my role model. Yes. So, our president. He has so much impact. Yeah, yeah. And I love him. Love him. Yeah, so we are just here. We are taking some cake as we refresh ourselves. Then after that, we proceed looking for more content for you guys. Yeah, yeah, you guys should be yeah. ready. So have like a lot of content. Like a lot of content. Yeah. So want to go to outside of Kigali maybe tomorrow. Yes. And maybe on Thursday just to get more content. So you guys have to be ready. Mm. Yeah. So stick around. So. Day. My beginning will be as bright as the sun Come on, you come along And it feels so bright It's like luck is raining on me Go and follow your heart Doesn't matter how far So it started raining Like five minutes later There was rain We are here waiting for our bus and this lady does not have a tap and go, so I don't know how you can survive the car. Oh god. So you're going to leave me here? Yeah, you just have to be left here. Yes. <laughs> she sucks. Yeah. It's been raining by the way, guys. Otherwise, apart from the rain, everything else has been okay. Yeah. So, Mama, Mama, they can't allow me inside without the car. No, we can. So they can take money? So they can take money? Uh -huh. My channel for this one new. My name 
name is Tamari Sijenga and today I am chilling with you from Kigali, Rwanda downtown. And today we are going to be trying the different foods that we can come eat here. The cheapest, most affordable, delicious food here in Kigali, Rwanda. And I'm excited to try because we have different things that we will not find in our country. I hope you are excited to go eat together with me. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Ciao! Let's do this! It's alone in the plate. Speeding a shame. Can you have chips? We have spaghetti. Make soup. That is pretty pretty. <laughs> And then I just like give them a day chili. I'm like, bring it. So we have rice, green grams, chips, spaghetti, some little veggies, mayonnaise, meat, and the beef stew. Downtown, like no chaos, very calm. <laughs> like, no many people. Business here is as cool as a mall, like just a mall in a place that is more advanced. Yeah, so let's take a walk and see what we are going to see. Bargaining for the watermelon, <laughs> and when you come here, you have to buy this oh. sack. Just same to, just same to Kenya. Oh. It's crazy. 
crazy the line here. So we have to queue one of these as we wait for our bus. So we just agreed that this, this bus, this queue, we can manage. So let's go for our second option. Like it's crazy. The lines are so long. Like I'm halfway. What you're seeing behind me is halfway the queue. Hi guys, today is a new day. We are here with Mexo for shooting. And I'm still in awe of this beauty in the hills. And I'm just loving it. So right now we are using the bus as a means of transport. It's so cheap. As you have like 300 yeah. Yeah. Very far, like 300 rand on this trans is like 30 kina so 0.3 and uh, we've gone a long distance. Very cheap, very affordable. Now we, when you come to Rwanda, make sure you have that. Yeah, yeah. Sure. And they carry excess, so let me try to. There, are people are standing. <laughs> But oh, let's go more shooting, more fun times, more excitement. Just happy to be with you. We then got a chance to go to Nyabugogo where we got to experience the traditional Rwandese food. And it's interesting that some men take this food as their breakfast. Okay, let's have some breakdown of the meal. This is cassava bread. What do you call it? Ugali. You call this ugali. Ugali is for posh or you know, mezuka. We call it ugali. We, we call it kalo in our language, but we add many things. Oh, yes. this is a cassava. Okay. This is like cassava leaves and it's kinoni. So the leaves are mixed. Are they both together or they just put it together when they yes, are together? Okay. And also, this is beans, carrots, and the dough. A few moments later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Hi guys, I hope you've been fine and you're still enjoying my days here in Rwanda. Today I am at Erina's place. Erina, say hi to my blog. Hello, good people. This is your girl, the international content creator, Erida TL. And she lost her voice. <laughs> my voice she is can no talk. creating content. <laughs> she can't talk. Yeah, so she has to make me carry her like ginger water the whole place. <laughs> so we are heading out to just go create more content as we enjoy living here in Kigali. And I just thought I'd say hi to you guys. So let's go. My good post I have to open for her. <laughs> Gamma. All this is content now. My pushing. <laughs> That's my energy. Push, push. We're going to be using the bicycle for my first time. I'm scared. I don't know how to cycle. So Erina has convinced me I will be okay. So let's do this. Don't shake, just hold those things, go. Okay. Okay, don't like shake. That? Eh? Like that? Yes. Okay. Ah, are you there, eh? Am I stepping on the right leg? Eh? Yeah. Uh? When I wake up, I feel cozy, yeah. Can you hold up? Don't need no coffee yet. Got no makeup. How do you look so fine? Bless up, bless up. How did I make you my... <laughs> She's never You're seated on a bike dead. before. Oh my god, I can't. Yeah, be, I'm a village girl, I've been on bikes forever. Look at her, she's old and she's so tense. <laughs> Demo, you can't do this. You, are you breathing? Yes, I am. It's more comfortable than what I was fearing. So, what were you fearing, girl? I was fearing, I don't know, to trust it to sit here and just. Because it's someone else riding. But it's interesting. I love the I love the feel. So will you try it tomorrow again? Alone? I'm not sure. <laughs> hey, it's confidence. Alone? I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's very affordable as well. Yeah. So.
Because this this same distance, a motorbike would charge us like 500. So we are paying 200. Kids growing up in the city. If you were in the village, you would not be worried about this. <laughs> See? How is it? <laughs> okay. Another challenge when you're using a bicycle, because it's a hilly place, please, you have to be understanding if you're a cyclist or your rider gets overwhelmed. So I've just jumped off and I'm walking a little. But Dama's rider was strong enough, he rode past this. So you just have to be patient with this. Stay a minute. One thing about, I love about Rwanda is the fact that everywhere the topology is just insane. Like, look at us behind oh there. God. You think we are having some very, very good time, and this is their normal day. Like, look at the mountains. One is mountain, Rwanda, some, hey. somewhere. Another yeah. shooting here we are eating lunch and this is their food actually I'm actually joking on my status that Kenyan restaurants should take lessons because this is like our the Rwandan mix hmm. if you see Kenyan mix is this some beans green green grams and rice you charge different but here is shit this is very rice. affordable in Kenyan shillings this is like 150 Kenya shillings see all this food we can't even order a second date, we are sharing, so see you. Yeah, and for those who have this lifestyle, this is the most affordable and most frequent sold beer in Rwanda. I also got to experience some African and also American meal in my stay in Rwanda so that you don't just think that they only sell African food, they also have American food. And I also hope you enjoyed this video while we were in Gisenyi. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe. Bye!